Hey, what up, family? This is Angela Day, and I just had an amazing time jamming at Jam in Berlin. Give me honey, give me fire, give me honey, give me fire, give me honey. So the 60s definitely inspired me on Honey or Fire. And um, really the song was about, I had been with someone and it was, it was basically a song telling that person and anyone or anything in your life that don't sugarcoat it. You know, don't, you're, you're lukewarm, you're in the middle. Either break my heart and tell me you're not interested or fully commit, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like people can deal with the truth. You know, if someone says, I don't wanna be with you, okay, you can deal with that and you can move on. Someone who's like, I do, but I don't, but I do, you know, it's, it's, it wears on you and it really messes with your heart, you know, and I know because I've done it, I experienced it, you know, and so that, that's Honey or Fire is just like either love me completely or just cut it off completely. Justice can deal with an injustice like that, right? Well, goddamn. Well, now we're moving and we're swinging and we're moving along. A man is grasping for air and he dies. God damn, surely justice can deal with an injustice like that, right? Well, well now our pants, they sag a little lower and we still talk about injustice, but we swing it like this. Here we go. Alabama's got me subset. Tennessee made me lose my grass. Everybody knows about Mississippi. Oh, goddamn. Alabama's gotten me subset. Tennessee made me lose my grass. Everybody knows about Mississippi. Oh, goddamn. Cheers to the Fall is really a song that says, I'm not going to allow the fear of criticism or f the possibility of failure, the fear of that box me in. You know, it's sort of a farewell to fear. You know, I won't let you control me anymore. And, um, you know, whether that's pursuing music, you know, people will say, oh, you're crazy, you'll never make money, or being a journalist, <laughs> you know, you're crazy, you shouldn't do that. And, and, and so it's about saying, I'm not afraid of the possibility of failure. You know, each time I fail, supposedly, it's a stepping stone and it's a lesson, you know. The way that you will never see me before. Lucky for my head, can't find you no more. You ransom my heart and I get the reward. Winning the crown like a Trojan. Become bad, bad, bad every time. You got me shit like the mark when they I am. Come out of nowhere, come rest in my life. I just want you to be forever my The boy is something in my
it's funny because when I learned about Billie Holiday and Nina Simone and Fitzgerald, I learned about Janis Joplin in the same breath and her, you know, it's Janis Joplin, um, Jimi Hendrix, obviously, as well, too. And I'm a big fan of hip hop, you know, so constantly listening to rappers that I love, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, you know, uh, um, Chance the Rapper, uh, let's see, who else? Nas, obviously, all of the classics, Biggie, Tupac, you know. I like a lot of different things and I try not to limit myself. You know, there is, yes, I look at him as sort of a godfather figure, particularly because I'm so influenced by him and everyone is, you know, he's the legend in music. But at the same time, he's extremely respectful and I think he knows that sometimes his presence can be overwhelming for people. So he will talk to you eye level to just say, hey, it's a level playing field. You know what I mean? There's not, I'm, I'm not superior, I'm not, even though in your mind you're like, he's Stevie Wonder, you know, but we are able to have conversations and, and to talk about where our heart is at and the things that we're thinking and the things we want to do and pursue and as if, you know, you're talking with a sister or a brother and that's what I love about him so much. And he's so funny, like I enjoy myself so much when I'm around him because he's constantly cracking jokes. He still enjoys himself so much, you know, and he still approaches music with a hunger as if he was brand new, you know? So it's, it's, it's inspirational being around him, yeah. <laughs> um, so we have been talking and we've been talking about a few songs and we were playing around with some ideas while we were filming the commercial for Apple. And there's two songs in particular that I'm in love with right now. I'm not gonna say what they are, but um, I heard a demo of it, you know, that he played me the other day. And so, so we're gonna be working with each other on his next project. Um, hopefully time, we want to, I should say, we want to work with each other, hopefully time allows. And, um, and then he'll be working more deeply on the second album as well too. So it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to hear him say he wants to get in he wants to work to play me the songs that we've worked on and that we're talking about. It just, I think it still blows my mind that it's Stevie Wonder saying, hey, so I thought we could do this with the song. And I'm just like, oh my God, we're actually gonna do a song together. <laughs> So it's it's really it's incredible. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. Yeah. Better me than you down. But still, why then? I get caught. Don't hold my hand, boy. Don't hold my. Rise Up turned out to be a song that was just something I would have wanted to hear in the moment, you know, and, and nothing too complicated, you know, it's just a simple reminder to persevere, you know, and to rise up essentially above your circumstances and above your heartache and hardships. And and so when I did the song, I, I was working with Jen Del Sevio and she played piano. And I said, okay, play and I'll sing and let's see what comes out. 
And so I sang and basically most of the song came out in that first take. So we were like, okay, let's just <laughs> work this out because I think it was meant to be. But it's, it's just a nudge, you know, it's a simple message that I wanted to hear. It was a reminder to continue to persevere for yourself and for other people. And so that's what it was. I think that's why it resonates with people because it is a simple message, but it's a good reminder. Hey, what up family? This is Angela Day and I just had an amazing time jamming at Jam in Berlin. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry go round. Hey, you can't find a fighter, but I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Move. Move mountains, we can walk it out and move mountains and I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I'll
<laughs> that was fun. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. That was really, good. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, awesome. that was Big very pleasure. natural. Very fun. Thank you so much. Cool. Huge pleasure for me cool. as well. Thank really. you. Thank you a lot. Hello, Valine. <laughs>